Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It has been buzzing on the airwaves. The United States has just done testing with the legendary A-10 Warthog that has long been in the spotlight. And seriously, it is a sight to behold. The A-10 Warthog, officially designated as the A-10 Thunderbolt II, has a rich history of service in the United States Air Force. From its inception during the Cold War to its continued relevance in modern conflicts, this aircraft has consistently proven its worth on the battlefield. In this video, we are peeling back the layers of mystery surrounding the recent A-10 tests. What do they mean for the future of this mighty warplane? How will they reshape the landscape of close air support? Without further ado, let's jump into the world of the A-10 Warthog and discover why it's still making headlines today. In the ever-evolving landscape of warfare, the A-10 Warthog emerged as a symbol of adaptation and innovation. As the Vietnam conflict unfolded, it became abundantly clear that the U.S. military needed a fresh breed of ground-attack aircraft, something faster and tougher to deliver devastating firepower while skillfully dodging enemy threats. While the Army embarked on the path of developing attack helicopters like the iconic AH-1 Cobra and the ultimate AH-64 Apache, the Air Force had a different vision, and it led them to the remarkable A-10 Warthog. The A-10's design is nothing short of exceptional, and it is a reflection of its mission. Its broad wing area, oversized ailerons, and high wing aspect ratio combine to give the A-10 unparalleled maneuverability, especially when flying at low speeds, cruising at a cool 420 miles per hour. Interestingly, the A-10's dimensions are almost as square as they come, allowing it to touch down as close to the front lines as possible. The ingenious honeycomb structure of its airframe reduces weight while bolstering strength, enabling the Warthog to cover more ground and stay airborne longer, ready to engage targets at a moment's notice. What truly sets the A-10 apart is its ability to operate in challenging conditions, with the capability to fly beneath one, 0, 0, 0 foot ceilings and just 1.5 mile visibility. Couple that with its extended loiter time, and you've got a ground support powerhouse that's earned heaps of admiration. With an internal fuel capacity boasting 10,000 gallons and fortified fuel cells safeguarded by anti-explosion foam inside and out, the A-10 boasts an impressive 800-mile range. As we look ahead towards 2035, where the A-10 is expected to continue its service, its upgrades are geared towards enhancing survivability in an increasingly contested environment. Pilots of the Warthog will not only employ standoff weapons to engage threats from a safer distance, but will also leverage updated tactics, ensuring that this remarkable aircraft remains a stalwart guardian of the skies. The Air Force has some exciting plans in the pipeline for its trusty Warthogs, those iconic A-10 aircraft that have been a symbol of firepower and durability for decades. Boeing secured a substantial $1 billion contract back in 2019 to equip 173 of these beasts with brand new wings. This revamp is part of an effort to keep these formidable aircraft flying high and striking hard. But that's not all. The A-10 is getting more than just a wing upgrade. It's set to receive a host of improvements that will make it even deadlier on the battlefield. GBU-39 small diameter bombs, a high resolution display system that's nothing short of impressive, and an innovative multifunction color display that replaces the old analog instruments in the cockpit. This display will not only provide crystal clear visuals, but also showcase high definition targeting pod footage and a state of the art map engine. What's more, the A-10 is gearing up for a tactical makeover. It's adapting CSR tactics, ready to engage maritime targets with AGR-20 advanced precision kill weapon system rockets. But perhaps one of the most game-changing advancements is the ability to engage multiple targets with precision-guided munitions. Imagine being able to drop six weapons with a single push of a button, all while effortlessly sending them to different targets in a single pass. It's a pilot's dream come true, significantly reducing their workload and increasing mission effectiveness. And let's not forget the A-10's air-to-air capabilities. Equipped with AIM-9M Sidewinder missiles with a jaw-dropping 22-mile range, the Warthog can give any enemy fighter a run for its money. 
The A-10's tight turn radius combined with these missiles is a potent combination that leaves enemy pilots with two challenging choices, stand and fight or flee into the path of a heat-seeking Sidewinder missile. Moreover, the A-10's design allows it to operate from a variety of surfaces, including highways. In 2021, history was made as four A-10 Sea Warthogs and two C-146 A Wolfhound Special Operations transports intentionally landed on a civilian roadway during the road landing drill, a part of the Northern Strike exercise. It showcased the A-10's versatility and its ability to adapt to unconventional scenarios. The A-10 is the resident of 74th, 75th, and 76th fighter squadrons that at Moody Air Force Base soar through the skies with a fierce, iconic design. These fighter squadrons proudly sport shark teeth on their aircraft, a striking nod to their storied history as the original three Flying Tigers squadrons of the 23rd Fighter Group. The Flying Tigers, an American volunteer group led by the legendary Claire Lee Cheneau, courageously defended China against Japanese forces before the United States officially entered World War II. Though they were active for just a year, their impact was monumental as they vanquished a staggering 297 enemy aircraft, a remarkable feat in the annals of aerial warfare. The A-10 Warthog will carry on their legacy. One of the specialties of this legendary aircraft is its armor. Its exterior skin may not be structural, but it plays a vital role in protecting the heavily reinforced airframe. The cockpit and flight control areas are wrapped in a whopping 12,000 pounds of titanium aircraft armor, affectionately known as the titanium bathtub. This ingenious design, angled to deflect incoming fire, has a remarkable track record of safeguarding U.S. brave pilots. To your surprise, the A-10's armor makes up just over 7% of its weight, ensuring that it can withstand intense combat situations. But that's not all. This aircraft is so well armored that it fearlessly navigates through supercell thunderstorms. In fact, the Air Force relies on the A-10 Warthog to monitor severe weather systems. The A-10 Warthog, a beast of an aircraft, houses a true marvel at its front end that is the 30mm GAU-8A Avenger, the heavyweight champ of automatic cannons in aviation history. The front landing gear is tucked away under the wings while the rear wheels align with the fuselage, making space for this monstrous weapon. The GAU-8A's barrel juts out from the aircraft's nose, ready to unleash its fury. Incredibly, this Gatling gun makes up a whopping 16% of the A-10's total weight. The GAU-8A spews out high-explosive incendiary and armor-piercing depleted uranium rounds at a jaw-dropping rate of 3,900 rounds per minute. These bullets are about the size of beer bottles. That's one heck of a punch. But the kicker is that when pilots let loose with this beast, it heats up like a blazing furnace, limiting firing to just a few precious seconds. Another most remarkable thing about this beast is that the brave A-10 pilots are not like ordinary fighters. They're not just relying on traditional training methods. Some of them are strapping into the world of virtual reality gaming, thanks to Digital Combat Simulator World. They're using VR headsets and gaming gear to enhance their training experience. They train with a mock warthog soaring through the digital skies, performing all sorts of A-10 maneuvers while a control center orchestrates the action. It covers everything from ground operations to hair-raising landings, formation flying, and unleashing that fearsome firepower. The A-10C Thunderbolt II, a force to be reckoned with in the realm of close air support. This iconic aircraft has been reborn to meet the challenges of today's battlefield and is primed to serve for years to come. As for its future, the A-10 has been a subject of debate within the military ranks. The Air Force has floated the idea of retiring this beloved aircraft, but Congress has consistently stood in defense of the Warthog. It's not just lawmakers, though. Ground troops also cherish its presence as a lifeline in the heat of battle. In a thrilling turn of events in 2023, the U.S. Air Force announced its commitment to keep the A-10 flying high until at least 2035. This decision has been met with applause from A-10 enthusiasts, securing the aircraft's pivotal role in U.S. military operations for many more years to come. The Warthog roars on, a symbol of resilience and power in the face of adversity. So for now, the A-10 seems here to stay. But how many will rule the skies in the future? 
let us know in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and watch the next video as well. See you again.